Hey everybody, God Almighty, Lord above, give me strength and touch my butt because Christ alive. Do we have the absolute brawling of this century, guys? Jack Septicai, he's probably like the OG, one of the OG YouTubers. You know, when you think of like Jack Septicai, you think of like the first Avengers. You know what I mean? There's Iron Man, there's Captain America. You might even throw Thor in there. Who knows? You know, he's there with like Jack Septicai, obviously PewDiePie, and Markiplier, them sort of lot. And then there came this new guy. You might have heard of him, Mr. Beast. He loves, you know. He loves doing terrible stuff. No, he's, he's a, he loves doing big, expensive videos and things like that, you know, making huge, high-budget content on YouTube. He's, he's basically like a TV show, but on YouTube. I, I personally aren't a fan of him. I, I have seen a few videos, definitely, but I don't watch them every week when they come out. I think it kind of appeals to, like, kids, you know. I think recently uploaded, like, a video on crushing a, um, like, a Lamborghini in a shredder and shit like that just doesn't entertain me. If it entertains you and you've got a brain of a child, that's brilliant. Top class for you. Lucky you man but i don't i have to be entertained all the time however we have got into some beef ladies and gentlemen we've got the old guard versus the new jack septicai went on this show and did a lie detector challenge so you're pretty fucked i mean if you're going on one of them uh, that's your choice mate you do you went on a show and did a lie detector test what he basically said and we'll show the video obviously is that mr beast ruined youtube and changed it into more of a money fame sort of thing now i i disagree with that i think uh, YouTube is always evolving, it's always changing, soon Mr. Beast won't be top, well maybe not, but soon you know it will be different, like you know we used to get YouTube gaming, commentaries, horror, scary shit like that, then it went into like Call of Duty and then you know it, now we're in like whatever era this is, I think there's a much more variety, you know you've got loads of vlogs, you got loads of uh, you know gaming still a thing, you got in real life, you got these big budgety shows, things like that, pranks, you know all this YouTube, that's the beauty of YouTube, there's stuff everywhere for everyone and every everything you know you don't have to do it, he basically called out Mr. Mr. Beast and um, said a load of shit and obviously Mr. Beast responded. So we're gonna watch the video obviously. A completely unrelated question. <laughs> Do you like Mr. Beast? No. <laughs> Jack. Oh. Do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Yes. Ooh. Now, in all honesty, Jack, why? Because it became more about views, money, and popularity than it did about having fun. You just don't think you had fun playing Squid Games? You know, you had fun riding on yachts, if he building had, wells in Africa, I don't know. If he had fun doing those videos, they'd be longer. We'd see the fun. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I thought you were going to get me yeah. that one, didn't you? Who's the YouTuber you hate the most? I don't know. There's a lot of groomers and pedophiles on our platform. <laughs> So, as you can see, Mr. Beast obviously wasn't too pleased that Jack Jacksepticeye chatted shit and basically said he didn't like him. And to be fair, you, you don't have to like someone just because he's the biggest. And I think every point he sort of said is valid. However, I, I don't think you can say he ruined YouTube. I think he's just created another audience. You know, he makes one 10-minute video a week that gets hundreds and hundreds of millions of views. And you kind of think, well, you know, you don't have to watch it. That's the beauty of YouTube. If you don't like someone, you don't have to watch them. You don't have to watch the content. Of course, Mr. Beast, because he's a bit of a sour sus and he wants to be the top and wants everyone to think he's... The favourite and everyone he wants, you know, I, I feel he's kind of like a puppy. He craves that attention and that love from everyone. And the fact that this guy who's part of the old guard, you know, you call him one of the probably the biggest YouTubers, one of the OGs, Jack Septicai, wouldn't you? I think everyone with a brain that's attached to their ears and their whatever a brain attached to would come to the conclusion that yes, Jack Septicai is a, a fantastic YouTuber and sort of steered the way. But anyway, quotation time. How could this happen? So, I ruined YouTube because I didn't buy a mansion and sports cars and instead reinvested my money into making content focused on doing good and inspiring kids to help and good and inspiring people. Now that's kind of funny he says that. Literally, his most recent video is Lamborghini versus Shredder. So he just said he doesn't buy sports cars and stuff like that. That's clearly bullshit and bogus. I'm sure he has plenty of cars. If he had fun, the videos would be longer. What does that even mean? Yeah, see, that's that, that's the only point of the video where I'm a bit like, what, what are you on about, Jack here? Like, if he had fun, I mean, it, it's not, it's no longer him. It's an enterprise. It's a business. He probably has 50 people who work for him or something like that who rely on him. So I, I didn't understand that. But you think I'd give up every of my life for 14 years if I didn't have fun again i think that's perspective i think he offloads quite a lot of the work to other people as well whatever you know that's good mate you've you've done really well for yourself and then he goes on to say this clip is an insanely disrespectful imo which i don't know what it means obviously there is so much i could say about his content but i'll just take the punches and be the bigger man sigh now that is irony 
so obviously he, he I'll be the bigger man and won't comment it instead he'll just write a really long post about it I think Jack probably shouldn't have said it I think he should have moulded his way around it and said do you like Mr Beast uh, I like him as a person but I don't like his videos they're just not for me why didn't you say that maybe you have to say yes or no I don't really know how it works in terms of lie detectors I've never actually had one but it's just kind of funny how he goes you know instead of I didn't buy a mansion I'd love to see Mr Beast's house you know what I mean I bet he's got a fat fucking pad Mr Beast is buying a North Carolina neighbourhood that's quite a good idea isn't it really I'd like to do that okay so obviously his house isn't there that which is good I guess I, I thought there might be a picture sometimes you get pictures don't you but whatever it doesn't fucking matter but I think yeah what do you guys think of this I think it's kind of funny Jack Septicai obviously like I mentioned before old guard bit of a leader uh, an innovator steered the way for sort of where YouTube's at today and Mr Beast has obviously taken it in a new direction and maybe he's not a big fan of that hey, like I said Mr Beast is boring I think I don't like his videos people who do fair enough with that that's you know your intent you're allowed to do that me personally just not for me all this kiddie shit it's, it's directed at kids isn't it bright colors they throw his face on it like stuff like this one pound versus 200 you know you can't say he doesn't spend his money when he's going on a one billion dollar yacht he's throwing a train into a pit and by the way i'm not seeing these videos uh he might probably doesn't throw a train into the pit a thousand blind people see for the first time yeah that was kind of weird wasn't it no not many people were happy about that for some reason um see clickbait you know titles 500 plane ticket another lamborghini there you know he's just gone on to say he doesn't another Lamborghini there, a private jet, you know, he's got another boat, or, you know, a plane, uh, he goes on and says all this shit, like, oh, I don't, I spend my money on other things, it's like, yeah, you spend your money on the same things, you just blow it up, it's not any different, you buy nice things, you have luxuries you, that other people can't even afford, I've seen a video of behind the scenes, I think it was on, like, Twitter or something, of his, like, camera room, his microphones, different cameras, things like that, it's really impressive what he's done, he, you know, he's almost created his own channel, his own, well, his own channel, but his own, like, TV channel, this Mr. Beast Empire, and he's got different channels that do it in different languages which is really helpful but I don't think this guy can stand there and honestly say he doesn't care about money he literally puts all expensive things in all his thumbnails see loads of it he's done shit with Logan Paul another Lamb how many Lamborghinis have we counted money 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 you know this guy goes on and says oh because you st I didn't buy this and the other. you bought it you've done all of it and you've made loads of money and a shit ton of money from it at that but let me know what you guys think I, I think he's just waffling I think Jack Septica is probably not, not going to regret saying it but I personally think he probably should have avoided the question maybe gone around it slightly better but who am I I'm, I'm, I'm illiterate and a stupid idioto and I've got nothing in between my ears except empty space so I can't comment it but really he's not ruined YouTube I think he's just turned it into a corporate sort of thing uh, you know a bit of a corporate money ball how much views can you get like squid you know I don't give a shit about squid games last to leave the circle wins 500k like he just throws loads of money on these things you might not do it for the money but it's a huge factor in how you can make your videos he is just a funny old bloke isn't he do you guys watch him I like to think my audience hopefully is slightly older than 12 but if you do watch him let me know what you think like you know largest pizza just a lot of uh, money things a lot of gold in there you know it's a lot of fast cars and pretending to do shit and lies. Mr. Jack Spadaisky is in a wee bit of trouble. Think, should we go on Twitter quickly? Yeah, see, <laughs> that's so true though. Like, he just said one thing, like, he doesn't like your videos because he thinks you've changed it and you you, you say, oh, I'm not going to comment, I'll be the bigger man and then you write a bubbly Bible verse on why you don't like him. That's what I mean. He does all this stuff for just views, isn't it, at the end of the day. What do you guys think? i never been a fan of him. I used to really like Jack Septicai, but I've never watched Mr. Beast's videos. You know, it clearly upset him when he said it didn't and he, he went a bit into Heidi Hole mode, didn't he, and said, oh, well, well, why was this even me? Way, way, way. I want to be popular, I want to be the best I'm a good person, I'm a really good person No you're not brother, anyway thank you Goodbye, like, subscribe, do whatever you want